So hopefully you can see me okay because the lighting isn't great and my camera angle isn't great either but I don't have a tripod because I usually film vlogging so it's just going to have to do for now but it is Monday night, it's 11 o'clock at night and I have a lot of catching up to do with you guys because I didn't really have an end to last week's vlog because I was super busy packing for vacation. That's why I'm not in my normal filming location as you guys can tell I'm in South Carolina with my family and my brother's best friend. So we're hanging out down here for a week. We left Saturday morning and we flew in from Boston Saturday afternoon, got here around 7 o'clock at night and then been hanging out ever since. We've been kind of taking it easy the past couple days. Yesterday was more of a chill day. Today we went into Charleston which is about two hours north of us and that was really fun. We did the um, battleship and uh, one of the aircraft carriers down there for the Navy. So I'll go ahead and insert some pictures sporadically throughout the vlog of you know the scenery around here, some pictures of Charleston and all that stuff. So that is that. As far as reading, on Friday, yeah Friday night I finished Four of the Thousand Lanterns by Teresa Dow. I gave it four stars. Really enjoyed it. I'll talk more about it at the end of the vlog. And then on well that's my camera. Okay. On Saturday I started as many hours as I can get by Sean Young Gal, which I'm reviewing for Penguin. And I'm already halfway through this. It's a very quick contemporary read. My camera will not still. Okay, there we go. So my review for that is going up tomorrow. And I have to do a review and a mood board, which I've never done. Um, but I will hear all that out tonight. It's good so far. It's definitely a very cute, hard-hitting contemporary. It's cute and hard-hitting, if that makes any sense. So hopefully I'll finish that tonight, if not early tomorrow morning, before I send it off to Penguin. And then as far as other books I brought with me, I brought Nevernight uh, by Jay Kristoff. I brought uh, 8 Bits Worth by Jim Dawson. And I brought Evil Queen by Janisha Walter, which is the chapter by chapter book club for the month for the month of August. Link down below to the Goodreads group, and then I also brought a book for writing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do any writing while I'm down here, but just in case. But yeah, that's my update. I hope this week will be a good reading week. Um, I feel like we're gonna be spending a lot of time by the beach and by the pool, so definitely get some reading down there as well as just here in my bed. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you here tonight, guys, and I will check in with you guys hopefully tomorrow morning with a exciting reading update. So I'll see you. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. It is 10:30 in the morning. I was up about an hour ago, and I have got a reading update for you. So let's chat about that. So last night I ended up finishing as many as I can get by Chana Young Doll. I actually finished this, this like 12:30 in the morning, so I think it was today. But you know what I mean. I end up giving this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It is very cute. It has definitely got a hard hitting side to it. And it deals with very important topics such as drug addiction and teen pregnancy. And uh, so that is something that you want to avoid. Just know what is in this book. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. There was a couple of things I didn't like uh, about the plot. But overall, still really cute. And yeah, 3.5 out of 5 stars. So that means I have read that and now I can review it and set it off to Penguin and then I also uh, completed my goodness reading challenge of reading 30 books this year so that's really exciting. So that is my update for now. I think as far as reading I'm going to start Nevernight today at some point. I really hope I can fly through that. 
that I have heard such good things about it. We don't have money things planned today until the afternoon. We are going to go to Bingo tonight um, at the community center here on the island. That's not until 4.30 though. We might go to the pool or the beach today. We'll figure it out. So I will take you guys along. That's going to be it for me for now and I will see you guys later. Hi guys, happy Sunday. So as you can tell, it has been a while since I last updated. I haven't updated you since Tuesday, I want to say. So yeah, I am back home in Boston. We flew back last night. The rest of the vacation went really well. I just didn't vlog because I'm number one, I'm terrible at vlogging in public. And number two, uh, I just try to keep my YouTube life private for my loved ones. My, I mean, my parents and my brother know about it, um, but I just feel uncomfortable vlogging around other people so I didn't vlog at all plus I really didn't have the time to sit down in my room and vlog anyways because we were always doing something we were either at the pool at the beach we were out to eat doing other things so that's that but yeah rest of the vacation went really well uh, just really enjoyed spending time on the beach and by the pool it was a much much needed vacation because my work life has been crazy and my dad works hard so we all needed to get away so it was really nice and um i do miss it but i'm kind of glad to be back home as well so that is that as far as reading i do have a reading update but i'm gonna haul some books for you guys that i got in the mail while i was away so i technically have five books to haul for you guys but one of them is in my owl crate box so it's my unboxing for that will be going up on wednesday so stay tuned for that. I'll talk about that in next week's vlog. But two of those books are actually nonfiction books. Now nonfiction is a genre that I typically don't read. It's just not for me. Um, but I'm going to be doing nonfiction November. In November mostly because one of my goals for this year is to read five nonfiction books. I think I've read two so far this year. So I want to read more. So I picked a couple up that were really interesting. One of them I've been hearing really great things about. So I'll talk about that one first. That is because called I'll Be Gone in the Dark, One Woman's Obsessive Search for the Golden State Killer by Michelle McNamara. So this is kind of a memoir, kind of true crime, and Michelle McNamara was a journalist who researched the serial killer that was plaguing the state of California throughout the 80s and 90s, and he did 10 sadistic murders, and he was actually caught last year. I remember when that happened. So this is her story. She did die a couple of years ago, so this was published, I want to say it was either later that year or last year, I can't remember off the top of my head, um, but it's just her research into who the killer was and all that stuff. Serial killers are actually something that really piques my interest. Um, it's been something that I've been interested in for years. Uh, why, I'm not exactly sure, but again, it's just, I find it really interesting. And I'm, I've been hearing fantastic things about this. I can't remember who I saw haul it first. I think it was my friend Sarah over Sarah's Nightstand. Um, I think she hauled this. I can't remember if she's read it yet or not. But I really hope I like this. I hope to enjoy it and get a lot more about serial killers and this serial killer's mind in general. The other nonfiction book that I picked up is called My Life Among the Underdogs by Tia Torres, who is the star of Pitbulls and Parolees, which is on Animal Planet. So this is... Her memoir it's about her life now she is a amazing woman she has a rescue center in new orleans which uh she rescues pit bulls the most misunderstood breed dog in the world and i used to watch the show all the time uh back when it first got started it is still on uh there's like 13 seasons of it and i saw this on her website the other day i was just kind of curious to see if the show was still on and it was and I saw this and I picked it up and again it's just 
her life with working with this breed of dog and her backstory and all that. It's very, very short. It's probably less than 300 pages and I probably read this in one sitting. And yeah, I'm really interested in reading this. So that is that. Now we have two other books that I got in the mail. Now these came in a box called the Fox Box, which is a subscription, subscription service which you can kind of personalize it to your reading taste and they pick books for you. So I wanted to try it out. I had seen Heather over at Bookables do an unboxing for it. So I figured let's try it. So it came with this really cute library card that kind of was like what books they picked and why they picked it. So really cute. It just says Jackie and what books they picked for me. So the first one of those that they picked for me is called Time and Time Again, which is by Ben Elton. And this is a fantasy novel. And this is high fantasy it has an epic story to it that's why they picked it for me i think it has a time travel element to it as well and it takes place around the time of world war one and that's all i have so i'm definitely going to give this a try it doesn't seem like something i would typically pick up but they picked it for me they said i would like it so i will go off their recommendation and give it a try at least and the other book they picked up is called Crimson Lake by Candace Fox. Now this got a little bit water damage because it was sitting in my garage for a long time. So this one is a mystery thriller. And I'm assuming it has to do with a drowning or something. There's really no description on the back at all. Um, but I'm getting that based off of the water that there's like a dry, drowning element to it. So that is all the books I got in the mail. Now as far as any reading that I got done, I am now six or no, I'm 70 pages into Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I started this a few times because I was getting a hard, having a hard time getting into the cliff notes with it, but I am finally getting in, used to it and I'm really enjoying this so far. I really like Mia. I love Mr. Kindly who is her cat. Um, so that is definitely interesting. It's piquing my interest and I can't wait to pick more of this up later today so that that that's it that's all i have to update you guys on uh i'm gonna go ahead and i think i'm watching book two and maybe i'll do some reading i do have to run down to work to get my hours for the week and i will see you guys later as it is now about 8 30 at night on sunday and i was going to read um but i'm not going to do that tonight um because my parents have convinced me to watch a show that I thought I would probably never watch ever and that is Downton Abbey. So Downton Abbey I'm sure a lot of people have heard of. It was a very popular show on um, well, here in Boston City so GBH. I don't know what channel it's on for any else in the country but it's a British drama show obviously in England um, about lords and ladies and all that stuff. I don't really know much about it. I have watched like half an episode before. That was a couple of years ago. It was the first ever episode of the show. And I just wasn't interested in that back then. Um, and I'm typically not somebody who likes like overly dramatic shows. So that's my only concern going in. Um, all I know about it besides like the basic premise, which I just told you guys, is that Maggie Smith, who played Professor McGonagall in Harry Potter, is in this. She's, I think, one of the main characters. So I'm interested to see her show, or her acting in this, because I do like, really like her acting in Harry Potter. And the movie is coming out in about two weeks. There's an early showing on September 12th that my parents and my uncle want to go to. So if I can at least get like three seasons done by then, then I'll be happy. The seasons I heard are pretty short, so I feel like if I really enjoy it, I will binge watch it, um, but we'll see. So I'm going to start watching it tonight, see how far I can get into it, and then um, if like 11 o'clock rolls around and I'm not completely hooked, I will start reading then. but we'll see. I will update you guys in the morning to wrap up the vlog, so I will see you then. Alright guys, it is now Monday and it is time to wrap up this week's reading vlog. So this week was a decent reading week overall. I mean, I didn't get a ton of reading done, but I did finish one book and that was As Many Nows As I Can Get by Shana Young Doll and I ended up giving this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. 
Again, I was working with Penguin to bring you guys this book, so thank you so much to Penguin for working with me. And if you guys are interested in hearing my full thoughts on it, I will go ahead and link my spoiler-free review down below, as well as a mood board that I created that is linked along with that post. It's also on my Twitter, at Evil Queen Books. Go check it out. So yeah, 3.5 out of 5 stars for this. And then as far as what I am currently reading, I am still currently reading Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I am on page 78 of this and I am really liking this book so far just as I expected to. So I hope to finish this this week and yeah that'll be a bunch of books done for this month. So that is going to be it. That is going to be the vlog for this week you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you get guys read this week as I would love to know and as always all my social media links are linked down below for you guys to go check out if you'd like to follow me on any of those and all being said I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you soon for another video thanks for watching everybody bye